Rochester Winter Market Manager, and I want to thank everybody for being here today. <laughs> um, so far, it's been a pretty good year. We have um, a really amazing SNAP match program where we match SNAP participants dollar for dollar. Um, so thanks for utilizing that. <laughs> I just wanted to make a round of applause for all the vendors and uh, community tabling people that are here today. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and just feel free to take some pictures over there with the Farmer's Market photo booth. <laughs> My sister Tina is taking the pictures today. And I just wanted to first off introduce Sandra Carterwell, the CEO of Codman Square Health Center. I was told I have to move quick. So, uh, welcome everyone. Um, I'm Sandra Carterwell, the CEO of the Health Center. Uh, we have been the proud home and sponsor of the Winters Farmers Market since it began, and we're very proud um, to be part of it. I will say that. Um, this would not be possible without the collaboration of the Neighborhood Council, so we are so proud to have them as partners. I want to thank all the vendors that are here because it's the vendors and those of you that are patrons that keep this thing going. And just want to welcome you all, thank you for being here, and we are so forward to looking, making sure that Dorchester is one of the healthy communities and this farmer's market is just one way that we can um, start that journey to um, healthy options. So um, thank you and now it gives me uh, great pleasure to turn it over to a great partner who makes this all possible, um, Cynthia Lesh, President of the Council. Thank you so much Sandra, appreciate it. Hello everyone, I'm Cynthia Lesh. to be here. I'm Cynthia Les Johnson. I'm president of the Common Square Neighbor Council and we've been um, a leadership uh, organization with the Dorchester Winter Farmers Market for about three years now and it's been an amazing three years. This market is important like the other markets that exist in Dorchester because we need fresh local organic produce in our neighborhood. We have major health inequities in this community, diabetes type 2, obesity. We're trying to combat those health inequities by creating a resource that we need in the community. And so I'm really grateful for all the vendors, all of our partners, all of our organizations, um, the food co-op that helped in establishing the market back in 2012 for just making this amazing resource. In addition to the Dorchester Winter Farmers Market, we have really wonderful summer farmers markets as well. So you're going to hear from some of them today, and you're going to hear how we're really making an effort to make Dorchester healthy. And it's not just with food access. We're doing work on affordable housing, violence prevention, peace promotion, green buildings, uh, sustainability, you name it. In Dorchester, we have some person, some organization, some entity really working to make Dorchester healthy. And it's just, yes, a big round of applause for that because the work, the work that's being done is very, very important. So I'll start off quickly by talking about the Codman Square Farmers Market. The Codman Square Farmers Market is in its 11th year this coming year, and it's just been a really tremendous resource to the community. Uh, our young people, our bold teens, help manage and run the market. They're phenomenal, and it's just a great space where people feel safe. They have access to health produce. We're transforming a park. It's pretty amazing. Um, so the markets do more than just provide healthy food options. They really create a space where people can build community, um, and transform how we see food in our neighborhoods. The Common Square Farmers Market is just one of many markets. I also have Jen here to talk about the Ashmont Farmers Market, so I'm gonna give her a few seconds to do that. Come on up. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jen Perte. I'm the Executive Director of Greater Ashmont Main Street, and we have sponsored the Ashmont Farmers Market for nine seasons thus far. We were born the year after Codman started. We're gonna have our 10th season this summer. Just as an example, the, the six, seven, eight uh, summer-based farmers markets in Dorchester are all sites where people have uh, electronic benefit transfer access. It, they provide music space, community space, space for uh, small vendors to have an outlet to get established into the world. Some of the vendors we've had over the years are now brick and mortar businesses and a reliable outlet for nearby Massachusetts Department of Agriculture certified farms. But significantly for our community, they're also the fresh food access point that Cynthia made. 
Our numbers for last summer included over $12,000 of transactions for EBT and SNAP, and an additional 5,600 or so of that was matched by HIP money. That's over $17,000 of produce funds that are of fresh food that's going into the community that wouldn't have the access point without these kinds of pop-up ventures. Uh, the support that you give to the winter farmers market supports these vendors at different points throughout the year and then they get to cycle through our neighborhood during the summer months. We're so grateful for their presence and when they fight the Friday traffic to meet with us. Uh, but thank you for coming out and making the purchases that let them keep coming back. Thank you so, so much, Jen. That's happening all throughout Dorchester, many different farmers markets. And another resource that we have at our markets is actually the free meals program for young people at the farmers market. The Greater Boston YMCA has been so instrumental in allowing us to make sure our young people have access to food. And I'm now going to invite Carrie Bay up to tell us more about that. Come on up. Good afternoon. How are you all doing? Doing all right. Thank you. Um, my name is. My name is Kariba Ebeg, and I am the Director for Food and Nutritious Program at the Wine Field of Greater Boston. And I would like to thank Cynthia and everyone here that made this happen today. This is fantastic. And I would also like to applaud um, the Farmer's Market for the amazing job of providing nutritious produce to our communities. And we at the YMC are also doing our part um, by providing free meals to both children and teens at our community centers, our schools, and our Farmer's Market. So again, I am very excited for this partnership and looking forward to the summer. Thank you so much. Another great resource in Dorchester is the Dorchester Food Co-op. We're going to allow Jenny to come up and say a few words about that. Come on up. Hi, everybody. Um, well, it's very gratifying to be here at the Winter Farmers Market after years of working on this project. The Dorchester Food Co-op is a grassroots initiative that started about five years ago um, with residents um, deciding that we really wanted to see a year-round brick and mortar um, cooperatively owned store in Dorchester that would focus on healthy, affordable food for our community. Um, you may not know it, but there are food co-ops all over the country, um, but there is none in our community. A food co-op is a store owned by community members, and in this case, the workers in the store. So it's been an amazing project to work on, and we are making huge progress. We have more than 650 households who've joined the co-op, and you have to have people join the co-op before the store can be built, because we need to um, have our members in place and show to funders that we are a viable um, operation and that there's a need for us in this city. So we're moving forward. Uh, we are currently the preferred tenants in a project in the Bowdoin Geneva neighborhood on the corner of Bowdoin and Tapple Street where Viet Aid is building a building with 40 units of affordable housing and retail space on the first floor. So we're really hoping that we'll be in that space. Um, so, and I want to thank so much. The city has been a strong supporter of this project. I want to thank the mayor, who's a member of the co-op, and Dan Hunt, who's the state rep, is a member of the co-op. We have city councilors who are members of the co-op. I know Anissa is ready to join the co-op. Um, so, and we really invite you because it's very important that our numbers keep growing. Um, so we're looking forward to um, working with the city um, on this project, which is very exciting, and I hope you'll all um, join us as well. We're going to be looking this summer, we're going to have a lot of pop-up events that have food-related um, aspects to them all over the community. So thanks so much, Cynthia. From health centers to farmers markets to the YMCA to the food co-op, so much is going on in Dorchester. And this is just a small sample of the efforts taking place in our neighborhood to make our community healthy. So I just really want to give you all a big round of applause for the work that you do, because it's really making a difference. With that said, I have the privilege to introduce our mayor. Mayor Walsh is here to celebrate in the Dorchester Winter Farmers Market. He's been a huge support, not just with this market, but with all of the Dorchester markets across our neighborhood. Um, even when we created our market in Codman Square 11 years ago, when we did not know what we were doing, when there were only 10 markets in the city of Boston, when it was definitely a struggle way back then, he was our number one champion, just really fighting the good fight, reminding us of how important this was, and assisting us in the process. And it's been so instrumental. Our farmers market 
is a great resource in the neighborhood, but we also are working to change the built environment, bringing grocery stores into the neighborhood, um, having bodegas provide more fresh, healthy food options in the community, making it more sustainable. And he's been there every step of the way, helping us in this transformation. So it is my honor and my privilege to introduce our mayor, Mayor Walsh. Come on up. Thank you very much, Cynthia. And um, I want to thank Cynthia, and I want to thank Sandra for hosting us today. Uh, I want to thank the Bull teams that are here today for the great work they've done. I've been associated with the Bull teams for about 20 years now, and she was a Bull team uh, a long time ago, and it's great to see your activism. Uh, the kids from Carbon Academy, of course, we don't know if are still here, but uh, thank you. They asked me some questions when I came in about how to deal with violence. I want to thank them for their involvement. Uh, and thank all of you that are here today. Uh, this is exciting. Uh, it's exciting to kick off another farmer's market. And I know that myself, City Council Nisha Sabi George, uh, State Representative uh, Danny Hunt, uh, we work hard every day to make sure that our district has everything that it needs. And this farmer's market is important for us in so many different ways to get fresh products, uh, fresh produce into the neighborhoods, in, onto people's shelves, into people's homes. Uh, the, other, the other programs are here, Moms Demand Action, thank you for being here. Uh, they have been a strong partner in the city of Boston on the violence uh, we're working on to reduce gun violence in the city of Boston uh, and trying to reduce it in the country. Uh, and I was just told a minute ago, Moms Dem Dem Demand Action has more now members than NRA, so congratulations on that. So it's important when you think about what's in this, in this room today, uh, it, it truly is what's happening in America. I see the climate, I'm gonna talk about you in a minute. Uh, and the choice energy that, that the city council passed uh, ordinance a couple weeks ago, we're working on that. We're working on the, the bags that was passed as well in the city council, eliminating plastic bags in the city of Boston. So when you think about our city, we're thinking about how do we live a, a clean, healthy, holistic community. And at, at the center of that in a lot of ways is the food. Uh, we can talk about the different organizations that are here, whether it's the Climate or, or Moms Demand, Demand Action or other organizations, but it really is about making sure we have, keep our people healthy, keep our people eating good, healthy foods, and that's what this is all about. So I want to thank everybody who has taken part. This, 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 just, just, this just doesn't happen. Uh, you don't wake up one day and walk to the Great Hall in Common Square and say, oh, everyone's set up. It's, there's a lot of work that goes into this, so I want to thank everybody who had anything to do with, with putting this together today. I want to thank the vendors that are here. Uh, thank you for bringing in the fresh fruits. Thank you for bringing in the, 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 the meat. Thank you for bringing in the mushrooms down the back. Thank you for bringing in the, 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 the different uh, skin care on the left-hand side. I want to thank you. I also want to thank uh, our city's departments are here. We have the Home Care Center. Um, if you're in this room or if you know somebody who's elderly, uh, that has a bad heating system in their home and they want it replaced, we'll replace it for you. We have a zero, I think it's a zero interest loan. We will go out, it, it, people might think it'll bankrupt you, it won't bankrupt you. We'll, we'll put a lot of these different heating systems in neighborhoods, so we want you to take advantage of it. The best time to do it is now in the spring, going into the summer so that we can get it in there. They do a beautiful job cleaning it. Um, Catalina Lopez is here uh, from, our, from, our, from our, she runs out, she's our food czar in the city of Boston, so any questions you have on, on, on food, please let her know. Uh, take advantage of these programs. We're just joined also by the president of the city council, Andrea Campbell. Thank you, Council Campbell, for being here with us today. Sporting her St. Patrick's Day Red Sox hat, nice to see that. I like that, all right, happy St. Patty's Day. But again, thank you, thank you everyone, and Sandra, thank you again for opening this beautiful building for us and for all the work that you do. And Cynthia, as always, you're a great leader in this community, thank you. Thank you so, so very much, Mayor Walsh. We follow in your leadership, we appreciate you. Council President Andrea Campbell came in right on cue. Come on up to the podium, say a few words, and introduce yourself. She has not been before the winter market as council president, so let's please give her a big round of applause. For her. I didn't know anything about this, so I was like, yay! Um, first of all, uh, hello, good afternoon. Um, so I'm Andrea Campbell, I'm the District 4 City Councilor. I just started my second term, and I have the honor and the privilege of being the Boston City Council President, which is extremely exciting, uh, but I don't forget that Thank you very much. <laughs> um, but I don't forget, of course, my D4 residents that made me counselor in the first place. So I'm happy to be here. Um, one of the things that's most important to me, and Cynthia knows this as well as my colleagues, is changing sort of the narrative around our communities. Um, I don't talk about Dora Chester or Mattapan in the context of violence and 
poverty, but instead about the very things that we're always trying to do as a community, bring in healthy food, healthy food choices, come together, the Dorchester Co-op, all the incredible things that are happening on the ground. So I'll continue to do that. Consider me a partner in the work. I don't like to do a lot of this, but I'm really excited to be here. Um, and thank you guys, and thank you to the vendors and the organizers for always making this possible. It's really exciting. Um, you know, the mayor is a partner in the work as well as our state rep. Um, so I'm really happy to be here with uh, Dan, uh, Dan Hunt, as well as Councilor Asabi George, and those who couldn't make it. Um, we do this work as a collective. You can't accomplish things alone. So thank you guys for the partnership. Thank you guys, and Cynthia, thank you so much for just being so awesome. And now we're going to hear from um, Boston City Council, Mrs. Sabi George. She's always at our Cobham Square Farmers Market. I'm sure she's at yours as well. Let's give her a big round of applause because she's a big supporter of Farmers Market. I'm wearing my shirt for all of you. I'm actually wearing my boys are playing in a couple of hockey tournaments today, so I need to make sure I'm representing, especially when they're playing with suburban teams. Um, I just want to. I just want to thank you all for being here. The vendors have been thanked, but it's important to thank them again because this is what makes these events so much, so much fun. And these events and uh, times like this together are what make our neighborhoods so incredibly awesome and so wonderful. This is what makes community community. So I just want to thank you for being here. I want to thank all the guests. Make sure you come back time and time again and support the vendors uh, that, that have shown up today because they're a big part of this celebration and thanks to the organizers of course and, and all the people behind the scenes and to the youth that are here as well. Thank you. As all of the speakers have said, you don't just get a, a market like this with just one or two people or one or two organizations. It is the efforts of us on the ground, the city, the state, all working in collaboration. And I mean, even just hearing about the HIP program, if you guys aren't familiar, the Healthy Incentives Program, that's a statewide program that allows us to really utilize our SNAP benefits in this community where it's really needed. And so it's important to have state representation as well. And we have State Representative Dan Hunt with us, so let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you, Cynthia, and thank you for your, uh, all of you do, Sandra, for hosting us, uh, Jenny, for all that you do with the co-op. Um, so we've got city and state here, and there's a lot going on with both, and I want to thank the mayor for his leadership on discussing food insecurity, food deserts, bringing together working groups across city, state, and federal. But right now, it's important for all of you to have your voices heard. As Cynthia said, the, the SNAP money, um, is so important for people in whether it's an urban area or that's underserved or a rural area. So I represent Dorchester and a piece of Quincy, but I co-sponsor a budget amendment for the Food uh, Safety Trust with Dan Donahue from Western Mass. Because food insecurity, food security is, a, is about dignity, but it's also something that's affecting people all across uh, the Commonwealth and America. But right now, that's under threat from uh, this president and this administration who wants to cut SNAP in half and not allow people to come in to places like this across the state and across the country and pick out what they want for themselves. He wants to set up a box of food that would be um, produced by big ag to come directly to those that are uh, accepting SNAP. So it's important for your voice to be heard about what the good things that are happening here today uh, and in other places in the city and across the Commonwealth. So I would urge you to reach out to folks like uh, that are state reps because we want to hear from people to your city councilors and to your congressmen and women uh, because it's important to protect programs like SNAP when um, you know we need supplemental food and food deserts and people want healthy options. And when there's places like this that are full every day with fresh food and um, so that's what's important. I thank you for all that you do to uh, deliver fresh, healthy food, and to all the other advocates that are here today. It's important uh, in general, but also in today's uh, environment to have your voices heard. So thank you for having me, and thank for all you do. Can I have a big round of applause for everyone that spoke up here today? Can I have an even bigger round of applause for our market manager, Hui? She's really the one that puts this all together.
My last call to action, if you guys know that we deserve fresh local organic produce, if you know that our neighborhood deserves to have access and, and make sure that it's affordable, and this is something that we need and our families need, please get involved with your health center, the food co-op, the farmer's markets, talk to your elected officials, the YMCA, get involved, let's keep this going so that we can make the neighborhood that we want to see. Let's make Dorchester healthy. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention.